Okay, so once again, we're in Quarry Mill in the South Shroud. Um, this one is going to be the 24th mission for the Red Billy Sharp Eye. Now this is a um, an archer like yourself. Now what you want to do is head west out of uh, Quarry Mill. And as soon as you can, well, look to the right. As soon as the um, big rocks come up where there's sort of a gap in the floor, as if you were carrying straight on. You want to turn right and go through a gap in the fence and you'll meet the sharp, a few sharp eyes. Now, if if you can't take these on because they're, they're due to other people or whatever, now, first of all, the coordinates for them are 23x19y. Now, if you can't take these out because they're not here or there's too many, whatever, or you've run through and you've aggroed them all or anything, anything or even you don't want to attack these ones, so there is a few more. Now, with it being an archer, obviously, it's going to have the archer skills, a few archer skills. They're not aggroing additional units on top of each other. I'm having to aggro them um, one by one. We now know they have a poison skill. They have venomous bite, just like we do. It's a 15 second poison. I think it's 50. Oh, ours is 15 or 18. 18, yes, and it, they have an 18 second poison skill on you, which does, well, it does an immense amount of damage. It's uh, 13 damage a second, so if you have two of them, there's 26 damage on top of their 24 to 30s. That one did a 46 on me. And I have got the level 50 bard, level 45, I level 50 bard gear. It's still doing quite a bit of damage. But I'm just sat there. Right. So, 2319 is this first pack. Now, if you wanted to train on them and get, like, a bit more, ignore those on the hill, because they're not the ones we want. If you carry on going up to Red Belly Hive, which is the, well, the second most north point on the, uh, the map for the South Shroud, you will come to, well, a fort. I'm going to call it a fort. Ignore those. You'll come to a fort. Now, a fate does spawn in here, over here, on the left to get, and it brings a hell of a lot more, um, a hell of a lot more, uh, red belly sharp eyes. For the sharp eyes only, they are, um, this little camp here at 23.19. So sharp eyes, just remember, they're arranged just like you are, they have the same range as you have, um, they are poison, and they can do crits, just like you can. So just behave, be careful, don't pull too many. You need five of them for 6.9k XP, and that's done. Okay, so now this is going to be the end of the first part of this video. Um, this is for Mission 25, the Bane Mite. Now what you want to do is TP to the North Shroud, which is Falgord Float, and then instead of going south, which is where it says Alp Springs is, is Elder Spring is technically to the west as well. It is south and west. So what you want to do is head west over the first and second bridge and come out, the, come out of the gate to the west. Now, as soon as you come out, there is Bane Might there. And Bane Might to the left. There is two as soon as you head out of the, uh, the gate, which is 1825 is the coordinates for them. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, 1925 is the coordinates for the gate and well they're being killed by people at the moment but there's two just as you leave the gate now if you carry on up the hill as people might be there killing them again to our if you carry on up the hill towards where this fate is um just make this a bit bigger you will see there is a few more or more there is a few more on the map but well they keep getting killed Bane mites are here. So uh, the coordinates for these ones are 1625. So I'm just gonna write that down while I'm getting it set. 16x25y. Right, okay, so let's get this one over as well, because we're all we need to know. Yeah, I've got them now. See the people in chugbos? Yeah. Right, so 1625. Um, they should have AOEs actually, I believe. Keep them away from there. Right, 
Right, okay, so as you can see, there is it just it's just a melee character with a poison skill. As you can see, because my debuff bar. Right, um melee class, you need five of them for seven thousand one hundred XP. Twin to see where um, this poison attack comes from because there's no AoEs. So it's, uh, it just reminds me of the um, overgrown offerings. I'll scroll up for the name and I completely forgot. Um, it just reminds me of the offerings. Come on. Come on. I need this poison to pop up because then I don't know where it comes from. It seems to me that you actually become. Immune to it eventually. Anyway. So anyway, it's a melee class with a poison. It lasts 15 seconds. So just be just be careful. Don't aggro more than two. They they aggro individually, so you won't you won't uh, you won't be able to pull more than one at a time unless you attack it. Okay, so now we are up to mission 26 for the Chasm Buzzard. Now we're in East Thailand at Camp Drybone, as you can see there. Ignore the little green circles that you can see there for my monk's uh, levies. Right, so what you need to do is head to Welwick Wood. So I'm just going to you know, fast forward it a little bit. Okay, so now that we've gone across High Bridge, as soon as you get across the bridge, you want to head left, literally up the hill, and the chasm buzzards are over here. Now, with this uh, level, with rank 3, I've obviously not got a lot done. But uh, anyway, right, I'm, I'm doing it as I'm going along because reasons. Right, so the chasm buzzard is a melee class. It's a flying melee class. As it's not actually, we know that, because it's not actually uh, damaging me that, like, while I'm running about. Right, so what we need to do is get a few together. There's a few of them. Now, if you are, I could, I'd say, level, all these, level 26. If you're like level 30, you could probably take off about three on at once. But, as you can see, while they're attacking me, this, the, uh, they have a small frontal cone. Which seems to be a high damage attack. So, well, I'm only level 48. These are 20, 25s. It should still. It's not as if I can dodge the whole. Well, everything really. Oh on. Alright, it's so high damage attack. If anything, it'll be a stun. Stun is the most common. Alright, so that's uh, the coordinates for them. But the end one. So let me just kill all these. And then... Right, come on. That is an awesome attack. Right. Now I'm going to give you the coordinates for the where to the the entrance to them in a way, which is twenty two twenty. That's. Well, literally where they start is 2220, and it is literally just when you come off the bridge. Turn right at the um, horse carts, and you're there. It's They are just below the, just left of the Welwick Wood sign. Okay, guys, so now we're in South Thailand, going after the Sandskin Pistas. Now, you want to TP to Little Alamigo. If you can't TP there, go to South Thailand, run down to the South Thailand exit. Just down there. So TP, if you can't come here, TP to Black Brush and run south on your chocobo. So now the Sandskin Pasties, I've done them in the Gladiator and the, the Gladiator and uh, the class I've done them on. Can't remember now. The Gladiator and another class I've done them off. You do cross toes with them. Uh, with other classes every now and again. So if you, ha you are doing multiple classes, you will know a few more. So what you want to do is head south and then head east. So in a way, you go in, you go in northeast, northwest. Sorry, of the town. So you want to. I come out. I always come out the center of the town directly south and head round. So what you want to do is head to northwest. Really, that's the easiest way to put it. 
and you'll come across the sand skin pasties. Now they are level 28. Now the beginning coordinates for them are, I'll give you central coordinates because they are sort of in a pack. There's a few of them. Right, so the central coordinates for them are 16, 12 it looks like. 16x, 12y. Right, ignore the big one. It's a rock skin. And at, this, at the level you're doing this, if you don't have a healer with you, you will die. Right, so let's get a few of these together. I have to kill them anyway, so we might as well get a few. Let's uh, see if I can aggro that one without losing the other ones. Right, so you need five of them to get your 8.6k XP. Let's pull these in the corner. Oh, there we go, we've got, we've got a frontal cone already. And a point blank AoE, right then. Right. So up to now, they've done nothing. Get a bit of a uh, anchor on them. Right, so it's obviously nothing. So high damage, high damage, and um, shunt paralysis. Shunt paralysis. I'm sure it's a it's a poison. It'll be a poison. Thinking about it, it's a poison. Because that's like the bath that they give you. So the main coordinates are 16, 12. There's five of them. Um, watch out. You, the um, point blank AOE around them is it's easy enough to dodge. That's just been attacked by somebody. Right. It's easy enough to dodge. The wide frontal cone. Well, that's just as easy really but it'll be a poison um, comment if it, if you find out it's something different and I'll put it on as an annotation or something because I haven't got any class low enough that can survive a few hits and I'll find out what it is so I'm just going to run over here and get the last one and then we'll call that one a day but your 8.6 kxp it's another step forward isn't it another step closer Come on, come on. Right then, that's the five done. So now I'm going to move on now to the Ziz, which is in South Shroud, the North Shroud. Right.